Hey guys, this is Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanna to take a look at replacing the battery in this. This is my Open Spot 3. This is a great little portable hotspot, but the battery in mine has died. So what I wanna do is replace that battery, and this thing is pretty easy to get into. The guts are right there. There's our antenna, one of them, I think. 2.4 gigahertz antenna. So this is the Wi-Fi side. And then we have, of course, power and Wi-Fi and so on, selection buttons and whatnot. But this needs a battery. And what I'm wanting to do is replace the battery on this thing. I believe that this particular battery will work. The voltage uh, specs and all that are the same. It's 3.7 volt, 700 milliamp hours. So that's what I want to do is try and replace the battery in this. Now, I don't necessarily have to replace the battery. The device works fine and you can absolutely just run this from USB-C. And if this battery doesn't work, and I've had a difficult time finding a battery that would apparently fit in this. So you can absolutely run this from USB-C and you can use a third party battery pack something like one of these things right here that's your basic 20,000 milliamp hour battery pack. And that works. And if I can't get this little LiPo to fit in this case, I'm either gonna have to manufacture a new case or keep the hunt for the LiPo and I will probably just take this thing and duct tape it to a battery pack and use it like that. Not quite as convenient and not quite as compact, but good enough for government work. And I actually have some smaller battery packs that would power this just fine. So that is potentially where I'm gonna go with this little operation. So this device right here goes in there like so, and then the battery was fastened on the back. So our battery goes right here, right there. And I don't have a particular pin out, but what I do have is the original connector. So what I'm hoping to do is, once I figure out which way that goes in the plug, then I'm gonna just take the leads off of the replacement battery here and swap them one to one, because I assume, and it is an assumption, that this is kind of a standard color layout for this LiPo battery setup here. And then the question is, will it fit in the case? So let me get out the soldering iron, get a little soldering done, and we'll look at our work after I'm finished and then turn it on and see what happens. So I got the battery wires soldered together and I am happy to report that when I turned this on, nothing caught on fire. The uh, dark blob you see here is some old hot glue out of my hot glue gun that got left on too long and the glue kind of turned to brown goo but it's still goo and it's holding the connector on. It's a tiny little connector and it is a pain in the butt to solder these tiny wires together, but everything is back in place. So at this point, we're ready to put the lid back on this thing and call this little operation finished. And of course, now I got so much shrink wrap on here, but it's working because you can see we have a green light, which means it's connected to my internet and you see it pulsing. So we are transmitting data to a hotspot. So the battery needs to go on the bottom side. Yeah, because there's a little bit of a sticky patch there where the battery was at. These are T6 screws that hold this in. All right, let's make sure we haven't knocked the battery loose again. So power is the right side. Yay, we still got power. Now we just need to line up our buttons again and snap her home. And there we go. We now have a fully functional open spot with a new battery. So what I'm gonna do, this is a LiPo lithium polymer battery that this uses. The story of the batteries is 
this battery, first of all, this is discontinued. This is an open spot three. Shark RF doesn't sell these anymore. You, so the story I got on a forum is that they're not legally allowed to ship the batteries that they use in these. And I don't know if the battery on an open spot four or four pro is the same battery. I have no idea because I don't have one. But they could ship this thing as a complete kit, a complete product with the battery in it. But they could never send the batteries overseas to the United States. They could send them to Europe. Shark RF is in the Ukraine. So uh, mine has been messed up for quite a while. And I haven't been able to get a battery. And uh, when I use it, you know, like I mentioned, I will plug it into a battery pack and just lay it on the seat or something with a USB cable plugged into a battery pack. But I've been wanting to get it a, a replacement battery. And it was kind of hard to find these this battery. One of my friends, John, found the battery. I had looked all over for it, but John, John hooked me up and gave me a link. I don't remember where I bought it from, but I will have a link to that in the description below. So if you have an open spot, you can do a little bit of battery surgery and replace it. The only thing about the battery I got is the connector that came with the battery is not the same as the connector that goes in the open spot. And the one in the open spot really, really, really doesn't want to stay in there when you put any pressure on that wire. So that's why I put the uh, hot glue on it. And then you can see all my shrink wrap made it, uh, my heat shrink made it hard to get that wire underneath there with the battery. I managed to do it, but it's jammed in there pretty good. So at this point, what I'm going to do with this before I leave this in my truck unattended is I'm going to charge this thing up and log into it over the internet and take a look at it and see if it shows that it's charging. And uh, I'm going to put it on a, a fireproof pad or something just to make sure the lithium polymer battery is happy with being in here and being charged. So that is it. Guys, that's all I've got in this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. All that stuff is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching 73.